Now, confirmations and communions, they're almost upon us. So let's take a look at some hairstyles you could achieve at home for moms and daughters. Pamela Morrissey is here to show us the way. And very simple as well. And uh, I, I love the fact that you got lovely flowers. And oh, going yeah. back to basics, We're Pam, really. We're keeping it earthy, yeah. One yeah. of the biggest questions I'm getting from my own clients at the minute is, what will I do in the morning of the community? They're very early, Maura, and people have to be self-sufficient with the kids and with themselves. Okay. So I'm going to start with my little girl, Kim, here, right? So again, a very, very effective communion look look, confirmation look, whatever it may be, even occasional hair. A tongs is what you'll need, a bit of texture spray and maybe some fresh flowers. So with the tongs, how to use the tongs first of all, very gently wash your little girl's hair the night before, let it dry naturally early, send her to bed and you want that little bit of texture and mess. You're going to place the tongs in the middle here, twist it around away from the face. Okay. It's very beachy and soft and earthy and garden-like, you know what I mean? And so, do you put all the hair in, Pam, or no, do you keep the end out? That's I where keep, I get a bit exactly. confused. Okay. I keep the end out and that makes it look very we relaxed again and garden-like, right? So that's the first part. Get that little wave into the hair and then here's the trick, Maura. So you're going to catch a piece of the hair about three inches thick, we'll say, right? Um, up around the temples or at the corner of the eye, leaving the tongued hair down. And then we're just going to gently twist, really, really gently now, twist like this. And again, you're going to catch the last piece of hair of that twist and you're going to push up and then we're going to pull it back. Can you see here? Yeah, it's amazing oh, how that's just created this, this back, perfect right? wave. Exactly. And then just to shovel it a little bit like this. And you're just going to place that then with a clip. And again, once you have a little bit of texture spray, like this is the L'Oreal texture spray, spray it into the hair and it gives a little bit of grip, you know. Because just to explain for people at home again when they're out and they want to buy something to have, a texture spray is different to, to, to a, a hair spray. spray. Just explain that just it for is. people. Texture spray is fibres and it gives the hair grip fatness. and guts. Fatness, yeah. What you do with texture spray is you spray it into the hair and it takes the slippiness off. So okay. when you're applying clips and things like that. They hold better. They hold better, yeah. exactly. So I've done this with one clip. I wouldn't have been able to do that on clean, shiny hair. So this is the, now again, pick your favourite fresh flower. St something that's going to stay alive for a few hours, possibly. <laughs> we don't want weeds in your hair. Um, and then you're just going to slip that in around the front, I would say, so that you can see it. And you know, that's I, so pretty isn't looking, it? Pam. And I always think simplicity, maybe a little bit of baby breath with that. I just love fresh flowers. You can go down the road of dressing it up as well with tiaras and things, but I just think there's nothing, for the communion especially, or maybe a wedding yeah. or something, for a young kid under the age of eight or ten, I think that's a beautiful, innocent It is actually, it? I agree with you, it's, it is very simple. And you know, when they're wearing the dresses, most of the dresses are white or ivory, so yeah. something actually in that kind of colour scheme of that light pinky white Absolutely. does work, doesn't it, Pam? Yeah, there's a dusky pink here. You could go white, you could go daisies, you could just go baby breath on its own even. Very simple, and they will stay yeah. alive. I have to say, it. I do think that looks so lovely. Doesn't I mean, it? that would take you to a wedding or whatever. So, I mean, even well, just for any of us. And it looks effortless. It yeah. does. But so it, just now, a twist to make and sure that it's in place, would you put a few clips just to hold it really tightly or what? Once you have the spray, what I'd get is a hard hold hairspray then, after, right? After, okay. After, and not necessarily spray the actual look because you want it to fall more. Spray right into the clip. Okay. Right into the clip so that you're almost gluing the clip into place. So another look now is the mom, right? Okay. So we'll switch over to the mom. So you're going to so use Halle Berry as her Halle Berry here. in yeah. uh, Moonfall, her new movie. I love this because she's just using the front of her hair, right? So mm. I have a cut like this. Hannah cut my hair in the salon recently and it's lovely and there's no, there's no bulk in it, Turn right? Turn around because you've got almost, like a lot of people have, I've you've got a lot the, of layers It's like a jigsaw layer yes. where there are no lines in it, right? Yeah. So it can be very natural. So again, for this Halle Berry look, right, you're in an emergency. So you're going to get your go go tie it up a nice soft go go nothing too hard and then you're going to pull this apart right pull this out this is where you're getting your dressy volume so you're lifting it exactly and you're taking from that ponytailness i'm also going to pull some pieces around here and Maura, i'm going to get my tongs then and with these two little pieces i'm going to catch these and without my mirror i'm so skilled <laughs> and i'm going to hold and turning that. away again Turn Pam, is that the away trick? again and you can see that start to happen there now. I wish we could all be like this, seriously. Uh, I, I'd have burnt my you know, head by now. I That'd know. be my... <laughs> a little bit but of I guess, Do you know what, Pam? Look, Don't do this for the first time ever yeah. on the morning. Maybe that's actually the first tip <laughs> we should say. Tip, seriously. Yeah. So I'm one twist away, right, from the face. And you have that very dressy look. And it now, looks so nice. It does. And then if you didn't want... No, this is for short hair or long hair. A ponytail. I love a ponytail, actually. I think it's quite cool. But if you want to just yeah, make like it a bit more up. elegant... Yeah. Just twist and it around. It. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and I'm very uh, un-COVID friendly with my, my clip in my mouth, but it's only for myself. It's only for yourself. Yeah. But um, so there, that's that lovely, yeah. elegant, soft look. 
And another good tip is to keep that ponytail in place, tong it before you put it up, and it gives it a little bit of bend. Right. You can see mine is popping out here. Yeah, but you take uh, your time to do it, Pam, and then spray it. Take your time to do it. Get your pieces right, right? Make sure you're pulling those pieces out right from around the face. Right. And that's Lovely. it. It's very casual. It's natural. Yeah, and people yeah. like that these days. Now, if you are planning on getting a collar or you want to have a celebrity inspiration, Pam has chosen Jennifer Lopez today as her celebrity inspiration. She's got the most beautiful hair. I mean, she's got loads of extensions in there. But I mean, Stephen, who does my hair a lot, yeah, as well exactly. on the show and Sinead's has recreated this style. So the trick is to bring a photograph or something on your phone in. Tell bring us about a pic, this. Right? So we're always on the same page once you bring a pic. There are great words out there, Maura, like mocha, cappuccino, honey, caramel. Yeah. But once you bring it, that could mean something different to everybody. Bring a pic. J-Lo here is very brand, we call her, yeah. right? Um, bring the pic. This lady came in, this gorgeous lady, Susan, into Stephen. She had a pic of J-Lo. Her aim is to get that length into it. She wants that fringe to be able to dress it up. And this is what he did. He gave her the fringe. Mm. He gave her that brand. You see that frame there around the face? Yeah. That's very relatable to what we just spoke about there totally no, you know is. like you have a versatile style exactly let's see that again that uh, what he created there because what he created was using bronze which is like yes. br brown and blonde together yes. that almost so there was, exactly so there was a kind of a washed out blonde at the end here it was gone brassy yeah. she wanted to stay that bright so he continued that up and he took away some so he blended in that that blonde mm. and then toned it and made sure this is the most important thing with brand and with balayage keep it around the face keep it nice and light around yeah. the face and then keep it toned it gives it that beautiful glisten and then he did the j-lo fringe the framer around here which is this really hannah did this yes. to me the other day it just gives you another diy that. look for yeah. yourself that you don't have to deal with the big bulk at the back of your Brilliant. hair yeah Pam, thanks so much I for that pleasure. fabulous we can look back of course on the on our um facebook page we'll put it all up there actually as well and uh, um, also, we can email Pam if you have any questions today at rte.ie and we will uh, take a look at your questions and feature them. Uh, and also, actually, Pam's going to come back a little bit later because we're going to do our hairstyle of the week. Absolutely. So, dohe.